DeAndre Hunter got paid. Great deal for this guy. And they have locked up their core. John Collins, Trey Young, DeAndre Hunter. Okay. They still have Bogey if they want to keep him for another year. They have Clint Capella on contract still. This is a team that is talented. Everybody's locked up. DeJounte Murray till 2024. Okay. And the thing is, is people are going to be like, he's not deserving of this. He can never stay healthy. He hasn't been able to score. First off, what he did in the playoffs was awesome. But no, what you got to look at is in his sophomore season, in 22 games, he was averaging 17 and a half points. Okay. Grabbing like six boards a night, dishing out like three assists, getting one and a half steals with about a block game. DeAndre Hunter was all over the floor. Okay. He was there. He's there. He's there. He's every fucking where. DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre Hunter. I was just making it. If you guys have seen Ted Lasso, that's what I got that. I, I've always said, I think DeAndre Hunter is a guy that is going to be able to take this team to the next level. Well deserved. A guy who is very much easily deserving that. I think out of all the players, you know, that I have faith that you know he's just been circumcised he had a wrist injury that had been bothering him for the past few years and now finally that he's healthy we're getting to see the true deandre hunter the man who has the ability just to really guard anyone on the floor it's not even fair what he's able to do he's so freaking talented and I think this year is going to be his coming out party. I think at the very least, he's going to be a guy similar to OG Ananobi. And at the very least, that is not a very bad floor. Okay, what OG Ananobi is right now. Because OG Ananobi is another guy who, you know, health. And let's just talk about it real quick. What exactly DeAndre Hunter got himself. Four years, $95 million, which is basically, okay, if you break that up into, you know, how much is he getting per year? Okay, that is $23.5 million. That's chump change. He's going to be when the salary cap jumps in two years. So basically in the second year of his contract, when the salary cap jumps, is going to be like a $15 million deal today. And DeAndre Hunter was the fourth pick of the 2019 NBA draft and becomes the 11th player in his draft class to sign an extension after Zion Williamson, John Morant, RJ Bear, Darius Garland, Tyler Hero, Brandon Clark, Nazir Little, Jordan Poole, Kelvin Johnson, and Kevin Border Jr. DeAndre Hunter averaged three 13.4 points in 53 games last season for Atlanta while shooting career best 37.9% from three. And it's just going to keep getting better and better because that's the type of guy that DeAndre Hunter is. Okay. He's just a smart basketball player and somebody that I'm a big fan of his game that I honestly do like will stand here and argue that I do think he's a guy who's just going to keep getting better. And it's just that fun to watch his game. So for me, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think? And yeah, I think that's, yeah, next part. I just want to add this at the end of the video. I think just having, you know, DeAndre Hunter locked up here, you are making sure that you have the two, I, I want to say eras of this franchise locked up because, you know, you have DeAndre Hunter who's under 25, same thing with Trey Young, John Collins likewise. Onyeko Okongu, you're old, you know, DeJounte Murray's still young, but his contract expires. Same time, Jalen Brown enters free agency, and Jalen Brown's going to be a free agent in 2024, and he's from Atlanta, so, and it's been pretty much, unless he gets paid the bank, he's probably going to come back to Atlanta, and even if they don't get him, in 2024, if DeJounte leaves, they arguably would have a roster starting lineup of Onyeko Okongu, potentially John Collins, Jalen Johnson, DeAndre Hunter, um, that could be one with AJ Griffin, or they could have, you know, move on from John Collins and have Jalen Johnson, DeAndre Hunter, AJ Griffin, Trey Young, and Onyeko Kongu. Then you have off the bench, you know, Tyrese Martin, and if you still have John Collins, John Collins. And I just think this opens up a whole youth movement for this franchise. And DeAndre Hunter, at the very least, I mean, I think he's a similar player, you know, to Keldon Johnson. I think Keldon Johnson's a better scorer, but I think, and I think Keldon Johnson's a better rebounder, but I think the better comparison would be an OG and an Obi. I think OG and an Obi would be the better comparison for him. Let's just be like, hey, this is who I really think he could be. And that is, you know, 
a tritary, tritary, would it be a tritary or a quadratary, like third or fourth option for a team scoring wise. And that is due to the fact that, you know, I, I think he's a guy who can score and create for himself. But on a championship team, I think, you know, he could, you know, end up being a third option. I don't think that he'll ever be a second option. And this contract allows, because of his defensive ability and two-way ability, he's a guy who's going to be, you know, a good player. I just think it just comes down to can they utilize the guy correctly. And that's the big uh, 